All right, actress, producer, director, comedian, TV show host, Aisha Tyler continues to keep busy in show business. Her latest project is a gripping limited TV series called The Last Thing He Told Me. Take a look. Sources can't hide it when they know something. My mother taught me that when I started at The Globe. They forget to ask the obvious questions, the things they would ask if they were really in the dark. If Owen didn't know what was going on, he would have wanted more information. Why the feds were indicting Avid, what exactly he'd done, how exposed the shop was, but he didn't ask any of that. That's not what he wanted to know. Taking time out of her busy schedule to talk about this series is the multi-talented Aisha Tyler. So good morning. Welcome back to Pix 11. How are you? Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Doing well. This kind of show is right up my alley. I love anything that's on Apple TV. So the last thing he told me streaming right now on Apple TV Plus. Tell us a little bit about what the series yes. is about. Oh, gosh, it's so twisty. And the last thing he told me um, is it named very aptly because it's about a woman who comes home to find that this man that she's fallen in love with and built a life with has disappeared. And the show is really a puzzle about, you know, what happened, why he's gone, someone who's you know, been very much a part of her life and very caring and very loving, all of a sudden is a stranger to her. And it really asks the question, I think, of all of us, do we really know the people that we care about? Mm -hmm. And also, separately, um, is what someone's done in the past always an indicator of who will be in the future? Mm -hmm. But what's beautiful is that it's really this, it's it's about this woman, you know, trying to track down her lost, her missing husband, but also it's this relationship that builds with him, with her and her stepdaughter who really have not connected at all and have to come together because they both need to find this man that they both care about deeply. So yeah. it's a mystery. It's a family drama. Uh, it's suspenseful. It's super smart. It's set in my hometown of San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was such fun to shoot. Yeah, it was really really great yeah so safe to assume the woman you're talking about is jennifer garner's character correct and yes and we see yes, you talking to Hannah. her we see you talking to her but who do you play in this show yes yeah, so i play i play jules her best friend okay. um i'm a journalist a sports journalist at the san francisco chronicle and i am really uh, both the kind of the backboard for her because you know, she's she's an artist, you know, Hannah is a wood turner. And so she's trying to do this kind of, you know, in for, you know, essentially like police work, trying to track this man okay. down, trying to be a private investigator. I'm the person who really helps her figure this stuff out. And also the other thing I really love about it is this relationship, these two women, Hannah and Jules have known each other since they were kids. And Jules really backs Hannah up a hundred percent. You know, they're they're more than family at this point. But but also they've known each other long enough that Jules tells Hannah the truth. You know what I mean? She's a real friend and we all want that real friend. Is like, listen, I love you, and because I love you, I need to tell you, this doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to make you feel better. I'm here to help you move mm -hmm. forward, even if that means learning some things about this person that you don't want to learn. All right. I'm looking forward to watching this. It sounds like a show that's right up my alley. And we're obviously talking about it, how busy you are, okay? Because you got the resume yeah. that's like as long, long as the day is. <laughs> so, you know, you were also on Criminal Minds Evolution. Uh, fantastic show. Bringing the gang back together. We had your co-star on, by the way, AJ Cook who was talking really about how, so how close you guys all were, how excited yeah. he was working together again. So what's it like, you know, take us behind yes. the scenes. So tell us some of the, the Oh tea. God, I mean, we we left that show at the end of season 15, not knowing we were gonna come back as quickly as we did. And, but what's exciting is now we're on Paramount Plus, so we're streaming, so the show is more edgy, darker, longer. And for people that really love, again, the twisty puzzles, the mystery of Criminal Minds, they just get more of what they love about the show. You know, it's, it's an hour now, no commercials. So we really get to delve into yeah. these dark sides. And this last season, we had a big bad a mystery that lasted the entire season. Right. So it really was just cliffhangery and delicious. And we're getting ready to make, you know, season 17 as soon as we're able to go back oh to work, gosh, um, which is That's great. Insane. Yeah, really, really fun. Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's, it's, um, it's you know, Quote of Minds during COVID was the, was the oh, number I'm one sure. stream show in the world. Yeah, right. in yeah, the world. And, uh, and so I think it was really fun for all those fans to all of a sudden get this like surprise that, oh my God, the show is right. coming back. Right, you right, know, right. the band is back together. Yeah. Well, listen, we can't, we can't have you on without asking you about whose line is it anyway, which you host. And it airs right here on Pix 11. How do you keep a straight face on that show? Seriously, I, I would not be able to get through it. <laughs> Oh, I, I, well, I don't. <laughs> I don't keep a straight face. I laugh all the time. I mean, I marvel at how good those guys are at their jobs. Yeah. And uh, it's a joy to be in their company. I get to jump in on the games occasionally. The first season we shot the show, um, the sound guy was like, 
can you not laugh? Because like, you know, it's loud. And I was like, uh, no, no, I, I can't not laugh. You have to figure it out in the booth because, you know, it's just, it's so joyful and they really are making everything up as they go along. I so it. it's always a surprise. So it's much really, talent. Such a I great love show to, those Yeah, guys. it's a great show to make. I yeah. love when you jump in on it too. Uh, one of your dreams, by the way, was to direct. You made that a reality, right? I did. I did. Yes, I feel like I talked about that when I was on the talk that I was leaving the show to direct. Since then, I've directed 10 episodes of television, um, getting wow. ready to direct my second feature, including shows that you know and love, like Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, Evil. Um, yes, it's been a really, um, a, the Wonder Years. It's been a really incredible That's ride amazing. for me. And it's been a dream for a long time. And, you know, I just uh, you know, came to me later in my life, you know, and I didn't go to film school. So I really was studying on the fly on set as I was working. But it's just been, it's it's been such a dream come true and I think it's also for me there aren't a lot of um of women and a lot of, and especially a lot of women of color who are directors so I hope that I can be an inspiration for other people to follow their dreams no matter how late in life yes. they come to them because you can always do it if you just put, put some uh, put some elbow grease into it oh you certainly are an inspiration Aisha I can't imagine what would be next like what is your next dream a nap a nap <laughs> Amen, sister. All of us on that one. We're on that right. train with you. Right, isn't that yeah. nice? Absolutely. Uh, Aisha, thank yeah, you it's so much. Um, I'm just chasing them out here, and, and uh, it's so good to talk with you guys. We love you. Know, you. Um, I don't mind getting up early for stuff like I this. I appreciate I'll, it. I'll, I can catch up sleep later. Yeah, I know. Sleep when you're, <laughs> I always say you. sleep when you're dead. Uh, exactly. All right, thank you so exactly. much. Uh, the last thing he told me, they are now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Everybody, check it out. Aisha, happy Memorial Day weekend, okay? And to you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.